Have you ever wondered how a simple board and a curious looking planchette can allegedly open the gateway to the spirit world? Welcome to the enigmatic realm of the Ouija board, a tool steeped in intrigue, mystery, and a dash of the macabre. The Ouija board, also fondly referred to as a spirit or talking board, is an instrument embraced by various cultures for its purported ability to communicate with entities beyond our physical world. Its simplistic design belies the complexity of its function. The board is typically flat, adorned with letters, numbers, and other symbols. The centerpiece of this intriguing setup is a movable planchette, which participants place their hands on. So how does this seemingly ordinary object work? It's believed that spirits or entities guide the planchette, spelling out messages or answering questions posed by the users. This intriguing method of supernatural communication traces its roots back to the late 19th century, when it made its debut as a parlor game. But it didn't take long before it shed its innocuous image and donned the mantle of a facilitator of paranormal communication. While some people treat the Ouija board as a source of amusement, others approach it with reverence, believing in its capacity to connect them with the afterlife. It's this dichotomy that adds to the allure of the Ouija board. However, it has also been a magnet for controversy, with countless tales of unsettling experiences and paranormal phenomena linked to its use. Skeptics, on the other hand, offer a more grounded explanation. They propose that the planchette's movements are a result of subconscious or involuntary muscle movements by the participants, a psychological phenomenon known as the ideomotor effect. Whether one views the Ouija board as a conduit to the spirit world or a product of subconscious muscle movements, it continues to fascinate and intrigue. It is a reminder of the human fascination with the unknown and the lengths we go to unravel it. In this exploration, we've delved into the concept of the Ouija board, its use, and the differing views surrounding it. We've traced its origins from a parlor game to its current status as a tool for supernatural communication. We've examined the controversies and the stories that have added to its mystique, and we've looked at the skeptic's view, attributing the Ouija board's workings to subconscious muscle movements. Regardless of your stance on the Ouija board, it's crucial to approach its use with caution and respect. After all, it might be a game to some, but for others, it's a deeply personal and sometimes unsettling experience. So, next time you come across a Ouija board, remember the tales, the theories, and the controversies. And who knows, you might just get an answer to a question that's been haunting you.